ADOS is the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule. ADOS from here on out as I refer to it. This is a gold standard tool for diagnosing autism. It was developed by Katherine Lord and her associates at the University of Michigan. It is a tool that we use in our diagnostic clinic. Um, the reason this is such a valuable tool is that it has years of research behind it and it has been perfected over the years and continues to undergo research studies um, so that all the variables that go into diagnosing are considered. Um, the ADOS is um, a nice tool that um, is not your typical testing. It's not sitting down looking at pictures, um, asking the child to point to something or give you something. This is really a structured observation with a number of tasks. So in a younger child, you would present them with um, what, what they term is the social world, um, blowing bubble, bubbles or um, um, blowing up a balloon or using remote control to look at how the child engages in social interaction during the administration of these tasks. Do they include the parent? Do they um, try to show the parent something interesting? Um, we're also looking at things like um, their language. Are they using words to communicate some of those intentions? Um, what are their play behaviors like? There is a free play task and it's intended to look at how a child manipulates objects. So it's designed to look at the criteria that make up autism. It is designed to tap restricted repetitive behaviors if they're going to be there. It is designed to elicit social skills and communication. So for that, it makes it um, a very nice tool for evaluating children. And we tend to see a lot of really representative behaviors um, because of the design of the tool. Um, in an older child, the ADOS is more conversational, reporting, um, asking them to describe, um, looking at their insights into different situations. So how well do they understand different emotions? and the situations that elicit those emotions and most importantly their role in those emotions so um, for example do you ever feel lonely okay a child would then expand upon whether um, they do or do not feel lonely what loneliness is and then you might ask them about situations where a person would feel lonely and then finally you might ask what could you do to change that or if you felt lonely what could you do to feel better and that gives us some sense of insight and we know that um, insight um, and social understanding is difficult in even our highest functioning children so we want to tap that in the ADOS